There shall be no super Tuesday. There shall be no super day. God said there will be a stupid day. But listen, remember the cloud that has come. But I will walk into that house that you call white. And I will prove myself in a way that you have never seen. Shaking both in charge to the core. There will be a change within those four years. And that change will be a sign to my people. Your time of refreshing and your time of restoration has come. Hi everybody. I just wanted to take a moment today to say thank you to you because as we've been going through Prophetic Rewind, which has now been on for uh, five years, I've been doing Prophetic Rewind, and I, I, by now I was sure I would have run out of footage to share with you, but God is incredible, and uh, the, what He did through my dad is incredible, and the fact that I can keep sharing this stuff with you, and I mean, as things are happening throughout the world right now, I am just finding more and more stuff that didn't make sense before, or maybe we just passed over it, that is making sense now. And there is no way I would be able to share this with you and with so many other people if it wasn't for your generosity and your supporting Prophetic Rewind and, and the legacy of my dad. And that so many of you have continued to do that over the years has just, my heart is just, just full because uh, it, it really shows me what an impact my dad and his life had, but what, more importantly, God did through my dad and the impact that has and is still having today. And so for those of you who wish to support us, um, we have many different ways that you, can, that you can give to Prophetic Rewind so we can keep doing this. And um, you know, those will scroll under your screen. We, we have so many options. And so whatever God has put on your heart to, to do to support this, you have no idea how much it means to me, to our family, to this ministry, and to the thousands and millions of people who will see this and, and will be moved that God can speak to them. And my dad had such a specific voice and, and style and uh, reached so many different people and is still doing that. And that was God. That was God doing it through him. And now he's doing it through us. And so thank you again from the bottom of my heart for for supporting the legacy of my dad and what God is still doing today. And so, I love you all. There is a spirit of boldness that's coming. I speak by the spirit now. A boldness that is coming. It has been sporadic. It has been occasional. Occasional events must now change to daily events. The spirit of boldness that is coming will make you take steps you've never taken before. Though you face danger with your boldness, under the direction of the spirit of grace, you shall see your future in a glimpse. For the spirit has been willing, but the flesh has been weak. Therefore, the disillusionment, disenchantment, not to speak. God said, you are to open your mouth. This is the time and the season. Now I will speak to you in direct terms, for I trust you. And if I come to this this past, I didn't want to go into a past, I think it's more than a past, not so much more. To your church, I say this every time. The celebration of the people that you give me, and the boldness that you what we do, which you could not do in a lot of places, allows God to say things that are mysterious to some, and will always remain in a parable. But no, not to some others. He will speak boldly. Moses knew the ways of God. Israel knew the works of God. Some people only recognize God when He works. Others know His ways. I know the way He works. And this does look just like Him. 
Those that are controlled by work say, he, he's never done that before. Why would he bring water from a rock? Why would he provide our tax money through a fish mouth? But that's the way he is because I know his ways. God said, I'm looking for people that know my ways, not my works. That recognize me when there are no works. This is what he said. Do not be disheartened at the elections, for you shall be, many of you. So it's a man. No, it's not a man. It's not a woman. God said, in the term starting, God spoke about death. Now, I have to be careful how I word this. This is a spiritual matter. But there shall be a swift change in the next four years. Even though elections took place, people were voted in, God said, do not be disheartened. For when this takes place, people will begin to shake and they will get fearful. And then my people shall be needed. And the voice of the prophets will invade every department every department of government. How is this? We want a Christian as a president. God said, fully. What you want is righteousness within the system. And I'm sending apostles and prophets into the system, says the Lord. Therefore, do not fear when death strikes for resurrection comes straight after that, says the Lord of hosts. Come on! caves you come out of the den you are commanded to come out of the furnace come come for spirit of God said enough is enough my people have fallen into fear but today fear and intimidation have received a severe blow and God said the prophet holds by its neck and strangles the force of witchcraft intimidation I choke you you have no power over this house over these people over this nation over our families you are doomed for failure says the Lord come on come on come on you know what I love about the prophetic is you get so close to the heart of God you hear his mind his thoughts what he plans to do you know you need this on a regular basis and there are millions of viewers all over the world that experience this twice a week sometimes even more at my den and you can experience it as well I would love to have you there all you got to do is go to Kim.tv we have so much we have worship we have songs that come from the heart of God prophetic words about things that have not happened yet that's what we we say to the people, welcome to the future. And I want you to experience that. I look forward to seeing you there.